enterprise technology. So what is enterprise technology? Let's get a glimpse of what is around this world. Now today, we as customers, we function in a layer termed as customer layer or a client layer. Now what eventually we do, irrespective of what product or what services we try to avail, we end up using some sort of mobile devices, use some sort of mobile communications, and we connect to the world to procure or avail any sort of services or products. And we term that as a client layer from an infrastructure point of view. So let's quickly look at what a client layer is. So client layer is a combination of uh, uh, you know, mobile devices, the devices that are predominantly used for remote connectivity. In addition to that, you know, we also have certain specific kiosks developed by various business and used as different client or customer stations uh, in, in various um, you know, public locations. Now that we predominantly term it as a client layer. Now what do we do with this client layer? So we eventually connect to the mobile network. Uh, today whatever we have is 4G and, and that could predominantly do about uh, 20 to 50 megabits per second at our client terminal. And down the road uh, we, we also have 5G in next four to six quarters. And with, with four, 5G coming into play, uh, we would end up seeing about 20 gigabits per second at a, at a networking uh, terminal point and at a client point the expected rate is anywhere, anywhere between uh, 50, 500 megabits to 1 gigabits per second. And that's the speed uh, uh, the client layer would be functioning uh, for, for the coming years, you know, probably uh, 2019 or 2020. So we would see uh, a greater connectivity towards uh, various uh, businesses, various uh, enterprises at, at a much, much more faster phase. Now, uh, if at all I need to avail a product or if I need to avail a service, I choose what product that I need or what service do I need and I end up connecting to a, a, a specific uh, enterprise uh, network, you know, which is, which is predominantly owned by an enterprise. I end up connecting to them and when I connect to that, I, I land to avail my product or service. Now, this combination of mobile telecom, telecom, mobile communications and customers' uh, private network together in an infrastructure world, we term it as uh, a network layer. And now this, this net, this, these, these two combination of layers have different segment of security. Uh, they have different uh, ways and means of connectivities uh, that, that what, we, what we and the business demand today. Now, with, with all this in play, uh, my intention is to avail the product or an available uh, service from the uh, from the enterprise side. Now, where do I get my product or service? Eventually, these products or services are being hosted by various uh, computing devices, and predominantly, uh, at a very layman term, we term them as servers, right? And these servers could take a, a physical shape or a virtual shape in today's world, uh, and and we would term them as uh, servers in our environment and this particular servers could take various shapes as I did mention and, and they could provide various sort of products and services to us uh, part of the global network and we term this, these layers as, sorry, these servers as server layer. Now <clears throat> the challenge today is most of the business, most of the large enterprises right from small, medium and large enterprises, uh, the count of customers, the number of customers they deal are uh, multiplying and growing exponentially and, and we end up seeing uh, hundreds and thousands of customers uh, being dealt by every enterprise out there. Now with this being the scenario it is quite important for these large enterprises to provide a, a global uh, you know a, a global scale or a global span of connectivity to customers. Now with that being the challenge for these enterprises it is quite evident for them to ensure that all the customer data, all the business data is quite centralized and distributed in a, in a more uh, reliable way so that you know, we could eventually access or connect to any product and any service irrespective of what location we are in and in which, which part of the globe we are in. To, to get that achieved, what we also need is 
centralized storage and uh, to build these centralized storages we need uh, definitely a layer termed as a storage layer. Now having all these layers in play uh, the biggest challenge is these servers the server layer that I did refer a while ago uh, they actually uh, interact with hundreds and thousands of customers and the challenge with them is the speed. Now with these storage uh, components that we have uh, in, in the infrastructure, they are expected to support provision the storage uh, for hundreds and uh, uh, tens and hundreds of uh, servers and virtual servers. Now with the, this being the challenge, the biggest challenge here is to see how do we bridge the connectivity between the servers and the storage. And the solve here is to get, bring in some sort of high speed network, uh, basically a, a fiber optic network or a flux network and we turn all these uh, sort of networks uh, which could provide us uh, speeds in terms of multiple gigabits per second, tens or hundreds of gigabits per second. And predominantly we term this infrastructure or this layer as a fabric layer which connects the server, uh, server layer and the storage layer and, and, and provides the required level and intensity speed of communication. And we term this as fabric layer. Now, Today, uh, being small and medium business, it is quite difficult for them to have all these layers part of their in-house infrastructure solutions. So eventually what they end up doing, they probably try to aware some sort of uh, provisioning or some sort of leasing from clients and large enterprises. Now to do that, uh, it is quite important for us also to virtualize all the resources. Now when I say all the resources, the span of the resources, what I'm talking about here, is right from the enterprise networking layer, uh, uh, which includes a networking layer, storage layer, fabric layer, and the server layer, all integrated together, would term as resources. Now, using these resources together, we could build much multiple virtual resources. It could be a virtual storage, it could be a virtual computing device, it could be a virtual network bandwidth, no, whatever we intend to develop, we, we develop them in terms of virtual solutions. So we consolidate, consolidate these resources and develop our uh, virtual mediums. So that we term it as virtual resources and all the virtual resources aligned across these layers together form virtual layer. So once we have this entire infrastructure in place, as I did mention, especially the challenge is with small and medium business. You know, it's quite difficult for them to build this infrastructure in house. So they would intend to avail this infrastructure from a service provider and in terms of infrastructure as a service for which we need to obviously have our cloud appliance in play to, to, which, which is much more secure and we could avail this entire infrastructure in terms of uh, cloud services. So right atop of uh, all these infrastructure is where we apply the cloud appliance and that forms our cloud layer. Now overall, uh, in, our, in, in, in this discussion, I did mention about the client layer, I did mention about the network layer, uh, followed with the storage, uh, the uh, server, the storage, the fabric, uh, with the virtual layer, and the cloud layer. Now, with these layers in place, uh, what is important for us is to see from an enterprise point of view, from an organization point of view, how important it is for me to build this infrastructure. So in turn, for me to build this infrastructure, what I intend to do is I confine my five layers, which includes the server, storage, fabric, virtual, and the cloud la layers together. I, I consolidate them in a single site or a single location and build my enterprise solution. Now when I do that, and that infrastructure is done as a data center. Now, when I'm a large enterprise, I, I, I might end up, if I'm a global uh, service provider or, or, or I'm, a, I'm a product company which, which cater to customers across the globe, then my services, my infrastructure should be hosted across the globe for better customer uh, services. In, that, in those scenarios, I might end up having more than one data center. So these five layers, irrespective of whether they are being housed in one site or multiple sites, together is what we term as enterprise technology. Thank you.
or how do I need to integrate myself part of this domain if, if, if anyone of you are interested around these uh, technologies and topics I would recommend you to uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and just wait for my future videos which is going to give you more insights on each of these technologies not just them all the upcoming technologies.